One thing people cannot get enough of is reality TV. You may not know this, but many celebs got their start on reality shows before they became the mega stars they are today. Some were well known, and some were just trying to catch their big break. Today we're counting down 10 times celebs were on reality TV. I'm Lauren Sanchez and it's time for The Vault. Before they were pretty little liars, these two ladies were singing their hearts out in competitions. The first celebs on our list are Lucy Hale and Janelle Parrish. Lucy got her big start on the singing competition American Juniors, which was an American Idol spin-off back in the day. The then 14-year-old Lucy even made it to the final group, but the group didn't last very long. Like Lucy, Janelle Parrish also got her start on a singing show called Junior Singer at just 14 years old. Her song choice? On My Own from Les Mis. And I know it's only in my mind. Janelle unfortunately did not make it past the first round. No worries at all for the ladies. They went on to star in ABC Family's hit show Pretty Little Liars and are doing just fine. Coming in at number two is singer and Oscar winning actress Jennifer Hudson. With all her success, we can sometimes forget she got her start on the idol stage where she blew America away with her powerful voice. Today, she is still creating hit after hit and making those jaws drop. Staying on the singing bandwagon, coming in at number 3 is Nicole Scherzinger, who got her start on the reality singing show, Popstar. Nicole competed on the show and made the final round that formed girl group Eden's Crush. I mean, how can we ever forget their one big hit, Over Yourself? The next celeb on our list is Miss Emma Stone. Before she wowed us in hits like Easy A and The Amazing Spider-Man, she was competing for the role as Lori Partridge on reality show In Search of the New Partridge Family, which had her display some of her singing chops. Emma did end up winning the role on the show, but the show never got picked up, so the world never got to know her as Lori Partridge. Aww. I know, right? Coming in at number 5 is Breaking Bad star Aaron Paul. Before he got his role as Jesse Pinkman, Paul was just a contestant on the widely loved game show The Price is Right. And boy, his appearance did not disappoint. <laughs> kind of reminds me of someone. Show me the money! Unfortunately for Aaron, his enthusiasm did not win him the grand prize. In the bottom two, Paul ultimately lost out to his competitor. Moving along, we have Zac Efron. A little before he became a teen heartthrob after the release of High School Musical, he was featured on a little MTV show called Room Raiders. So be honest, how many of you would love Zac to raid your room? Next on the list may come as a complete shock. Did you know before Laverne Cox got her big break on Orange is the New Black, she was trying to work for Diddy. Working for Diddy would just open up the entire world for me. Cox appeared as one of the contestants on VH1's 2008 show, I Want to Work for P. Diddy. Laverne was eliminated from the competition, but our world is better for it because she went on to produce two television shows herself, Transform Me and Laverne Cox Presents The T Word. Oh yeah, and then she got an Emmy nomination for her role as Sophia on the hit Netflix series, Orange is the New Black. Coming in at number 8 is rapper Tyga. Way before he was surprising his girlfriend Kylie Jenner with expensive cars, Tyga was on a never before aired MTV rapper based reality show called Bustas. The competition was hosted by West Coast rapper Corrupt, which featured mildly offensive contests such as Guess the Rapper by His Grill and Is This a Real Rolex? But somehow that never made it to air. Before he became the almighty Thor, Chris Hemsworth was tearing up the dance floor on Australia's Dancing with the Stars. Although America knows him for his most recent roles, he was actually a big soap opera star down under who got to dazzle the hearts of many with his sultry dance moves. Sadly, the audience only got to see him perform for six weeks. Guess his dance moves weren't good enough for the judges. But hey, I wouldn't mind having Chris as a dance partner. Coming in on our final spot on our countdown is the mother monster herself, Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga, also known as Stephanie Germanotta, found herself on the MTV show called Boiling Point. 
The show featured contestants being subjected to rude and annoying behavior, unaware that they were being filmed. Would you put that in your mouth? It has all over it. I don't Clearly you would too. because you're just like Now, did 19-year-old Gaga turn into a monster? Well, that's it for this segment of The Vault. I'm Lauren Sanchez and make sure you tune back every Thursday for another throwback.